so this might just be the last TikTok trends that need to die. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today's video I'm going to be doing TikTok trends I need to die part two if you haven't checked out part one yet make sure to go watch that one first I'll link it in the description and I'll put the i card up here somewhere so that you guys can go check that out but back to the video before I want to get started I want to give a huge shout out to Glammed by Liz I'll put all her information on the screen and in the description go check out her YouTube channel her makeup is always like flawless y'all need to check out her series make sure to follow her on Instagram and subscribe and I'll, I'll wait for you guys to subscribe to her channel I'll wait I got all day By now, you better be subscribed to her channel with post notifications on. So, I want to get started into this video, but make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you like the video and you turn on post notifications so you know when I can upload. If you want to learn how to get a shout out, make sure to check out the description below. Everybody knows it's big news that Trump wants to shut down TikTok, so this might just be the last TikTok trends that need to die. You know, it's sad, but I'm just going to get into these trends, you know, even if TikTok might be coming to an end these things just needed to be said they needed to be said somebody had to say it these trends need to go out the door get out of here because we're tired of seeing it we're tired of watching it and we need something new we y'all need to bring something new to the table so the first trend that everybody says needs to die like literally everyone said this trend needs to die is the i wanted to see her anger level where somebody would catch somebody's um following account and it'll be like from 9.9k to 10k and people would be like oh please don't do it to my don't do it to my tiktok don't you're just trying to get people to follow you because you know it's all down my for you page i wanted to see her um anger level it was really never funny to begin with this is just another way for creators to get more followers because like, you know, they're literally asking for people to do it so they can hit the next mark. And I don't know if people just didn't realize that or what. Like, it's honestly really annoying. I mean, no one's mad that you're following them. So what anger level is this? Because right after, I bet you just follow them. So whose anger level? Whose? Because it's not the person you're following and it's not you. Another trend that needs to die is the rating which race you prefer well not really race it's more like skin color because a lot of people doing that on tiktok are dumb they'll be like oh i like black girls and then they'll be like i like light skins like did you not pass um history or something you know not even history did you just not go to school because Rating races, that's so shallow. Why are you rating someone based off of what race they are? And it's a lot of guys doing it. And uh, people, I'm gonna say what I have to say. I've seen plenty of black guys do this and they'll be putting dark skins at the bottom, black girls at the bottom. They'll put light skins at the top. I'm not mad, well. Yes, I am mad. Because why are you judging someone based off of their skin tone? Stop being a colorist, it's really not cute. I don't know why that became a trend during quarantine, I don't like dark skins because they're too dark. Babe, dark skins don't like you either. So don't worry, we're not missing out on anything. This trend needs to go, it needs to get out the door. He he you know what? Log out for me. Go ahead and log out for me. No one asked for your opinion. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Nobody asked for your opinion. Another trend that y'all said needs to hit the door is the me versus the girl that he cheated with. Which I totally agree. Like at first I was just like, oh, the tea, oh wow. But it's like, you know, you're trying to say, yeah, I'm prettier and I was better than that girl. So I don't get why he cheated, you know. You'll take pictures of her probably without her knowing and put them on TikTok and let this whole audience see it. At first, you know, everybody was like, oh my God, I can't believe he cheated. Like, oh, haha. Ha. But then, you know, it finally kicked into 
into some people's senses that it should you shouldn't talk down on other girls like okay he may have cheated on you with her but leave the drama for your mama something else don't be putting it on tiktok like you don't need to do all that extra stuff blasting all your information on tiktok because let me tell you right now it's embarrassing for the both of us both of us i'm embarrassed for you and everybody else involved another trend that definitely needs to hit the door is rating the rating system that the guys created for the girls basically it is two numbers and a letter grade the two the first number is your top half your face and like your upper body and then the second one is like your waist and below like you know your butt and stuff like that the letter grade is your overall so like what would they give you overall and i don't even know who started this trend but if it was you let me let me catch you slipping one time it would be on site because who does that it really isn't cute. No one asked for you to rate me or any other girl on this app, okay? Let me just make that clear. I'll make that clear right now. We didn't ask for your rate. And it's always the guys with nothing on their page. Cause every time I click on it, when they rate another girl, it says private, blank, no Instagram, no nothing. Matter of fact, it's a meme profile picture. Like if you're gonna be all that bold and whatnot, why show yourself. You must be cute if you really are doing all that. But no, it's always the guys that don't want to show themselves. Just be respectful. It's not a cute trend. Like y'all think it's funny. Oh my God, I give her a seven, nine, but a F because I don't like her face or she, her face is ugly, but like the, do you think we care? Cause I can tell you right now, I don't. If I ever got a comment like that, I would've been like, don't be shy, show yourself. Let me rate you. Cause the girls created a system too, but that's not a good thing. Let me not be toxic, but that is not a good thing. We just need to get rid of the rating system in a whole. It's just really toxic and it's not okay. Get rid of it. Get rid of the negativity. It needs to go. Another trend that needs to die is my dancing. This girl. I think I dance pretty good. I'm not even gonna cap. I be popping. I'm not. Don't do me like that. My dancing, like. Anyways, moving on to the next one. A trend that Yasa needs to die is cancel culture on TikTok. And I 100% agree with this. I used to be all for cancel culture, like, ooh, get them canceled, yeah, yada, yada, yada. But the more I looked into it, I was like, no, this needs to go. Because at this point, I even saw this one guy, he was, somebody was trying to cancel him because his friend made a blackface cookie. Like, why are you gonna cancel him when it wasn't him? Leave him out of this, because he's been advocating for Black Lives Matter and doing all that stuff, and you're gonna come cancel him because something his careless friend did? Doesn't make sense. A lot of y'all, it's just, cancel culture is so toxic. Y'all pick and choose who to cancel. Y'all watch Emily get canceled like that. I know what she said, but she changed. Like, you can really educate yourself and change. But people in cancel culture do not believe that. They're like, no, it's one and done. The career is over. But another thing I hate is as soon as you're trying to hold somebody accountable, they'll assume they're getting canceled. And then they'll try, no, don't, no. We're just trying to hold you accountable. But cancel culture needs to go. That trend is horrible. It's super toxic. It's not good for TikTok because all these people are getting canceled. Like, no, we should change cancel culture to holding yourself accountable culture because some of y'all just need to hold yourself accountable and learn and educate yourselves like i'm pretty sure y'all heard about that undos or zach um and hadaya drama and at first i'm not even gonna cap i was like okay she's doing too much like that's so irritating why are you bringing this up if he'd been apologized way back in march and then like as i looked into it more i was like okay she kind of has a point and um she just wanted to hold him accountable because his apology wasn't as good apparently i have not seen it but y'all can leave your thoughts about that below and honestly he did not handle it well like cancel culture is not good she was trying to hold him accountable everybody assumed she was trying to get him canceled because she didn't have this many fans or her account was dying which is not gonna lie it was dying but like i understand what she did and why she did she was only responding to a comment and then he went ahead 
and after that he got exposed for saying that a black girl resembled charcoal so if you stand him that's up to you i don't know stand him call in 2020 that's all i gotta say cancel culture needs to go it's ugly it's not cute and it's just unhealthy for people another trend that y'all said needs to hit the door is all of the content houses i totally oh girl yes i do agree with that what content house means is like you know hype house conservative house liberal house um sway house anything something house but like, shut up we don't care the hype house is just a remake of team 10 and y'all can't remake team 10 and whatever rice gum and logan paul's the mavericks and rice whatever y'all can't remake that that was a one and done thing now y'all are trying to revive it and be just as toxic and it's not cute and all the content houses y'all are messy y'all are sloppy especially the ones that have to do with politics the hype house might not end despite all of its controversies like y'all saw chase on twitter he done kissed um miss nessa it had me shook it i'm gonna tell you that right now i don't even want to get into it let me not get into it all i have to say is end the content houses they're annoying they're irritating no one wants to buy your merch it's just a way to get a quick buck and a few fake friends and those content houses the next trend that needs to die is supporting peaches and yes if you still support peaches what are you doing have you heard the stuff she says on tiktok she be shaking it and wobbling and shaking what her mama gave her and it's just no girl go take a shower or something she said horrible things and when i was i used to be real ignorant i did not you know ignorant is bliss like i didn't really realize what peaches was saying was of course everything she said about her baby i didn't laugh i didn't find it funny i just thought it was weird like is this for real but like you know i used to find her funny and be like oh my god look at peaches ew like she just pooped herself oh it, it's not funny honestly she needs help I know she's been through some stuff, but the things that she says are not okay. Especially what she said about Charlie D'Amelio. And y'all are still standing her after that? Y'all will hate Charlie D'Amelio for the longest time, but stand peaches for clear skin. Girl, she's musty. What type of clear skin are you getting? You're getting cystic acne on your skin. Stop standing her. It's so toxic and no she needs serious help she needs to i don't think she should be arrested she needs to just get in check somebody needs to knock her on her head or something get her in check because she is wildin wildin another trend that y'all want to be demolished on tiktok is i don't know the song what it's what the song is called but it's like yeah yeah you know um it's like you just make the same movement multiple times you're just like yeah Mm -hmm. or whatever and honestly i agree it was cool at first it's just like it died down quickly it wasn't all that to begin with but i agree that trend needs to go it's just over with that was a a june trend i'm bringing it into july another trend y'all said needs to go is the who's next go go this might be the first one i disagree with it honestly already died down but i thought it was pretty funny like especially when everybody was getting called out on their fake activism and their past i think it was it was honestly a pretty funny trend like i don't think that trend should have died it kind of got old over time but i still think that trend was iconic it was pretty good the next trend that y'all said needs to die is but for you i'm gonna let you hit it for free and honestly yeah because it's getting weird um I don't know. I was just not feeling it. I'm gonna just end it at that. That trend needs to go. It was never cute. Y'all kind of look dumb. I'm not gonna lie. Standing in front of the camera like, but for you. No. That's a whole case, matter of fact. Y'all standing in front of like Masamisa, whatever the hell his name is, talking about something for y'all, hit it free, but you're only about 15. Do you want him to go to jail or what? Let me not take it too literal. Let me just, ne let's go on to the next trend. The next trend that needs to die is the under the plus sign, which y'all are very tired of, and I am tired of it too. Like talking about, oh, press the plus sign to see the letter or whatever. And it's like, at first I'd be like, oh, I kind of want to press it. So I press it, nothing there. It's just the disappointment. Like y'all ain't got to play me like that. I'm going to just unfollow right after. And I thought that trend died about 
five months ago. Maybe you should have left that one in December. I Another trend y'all said needs to die is TikTok dances, which honestly, I kind of agree with that one because a lot of the dances you'll see on TikTok originated from like Dub Smash or maybe like the original Musical.ly or Triller or something like that. And they'll switch it up and they'll do some basic hand motions like the mop, oh my God, or whoa. And when did the whoa become like that? Wasn't it like this? I'm confused, who switched it up? I like to talk to you because what what is this? What, what am I doing? Y'all are ruining the dances because the original dances are fire. These TikTok ones, y'all are just like. <laughs> Heavy breathing and everything. I don't want to see it anymore. I just get rid of it, throw it away. It needs to go. The next trend that you guys want to see gone is POVs. And honestly, I agree. Like, y'all will be like, I just murdered my whole family in front of the love of my life. And then she pointed a gun at me. Like, what is that? I don't know what you're doing. I'd be getting scared. Like, some of y'all POVs, they'll be like, oh my God, Netflix, come get her. Netflix, come get him. Oh my, this is so good. Hulu, where are you at? Babe. Let's, let's not lie. Let's not do that. Let's be honest. Honesty is the best policy. Of course, I've seen good POVs. I'm not gonna hit on all POVs, but the same people doing POVs hate, hated on cosplayers. And they'll do similar things. Like they doing the same thing, just in a wig and an actual outfit. You're sitting here in your Hollister sweatshirt staring at the camera with water from the faucet dripping down your eye. There are only a few POVs that I can honestly call really good and if that was a Netflix show, I would not mind. But some of these are just, y'all are embarrassing everybody that sees it. The secondhand embarrassment is rising to the top. So yeah, I agree, that needs to go, honestly. The next trend that you guys want to see die is the whole mixed kid check where like, you know, um, they'll say whatever they're mixed with. Honestly, I used to be like, oh, what do you mix with? What do you like? But now that I see it, it could be offensive or in a way, I forgot the reasoning behind it, but I saw it somewhere like, oh, like, I don't know why everybody wants to know what I'm mixed with. Why does it matter so much? Cause honestly, it should not matter. You ain't gotta do a whole video of you sitting there looking pretty like, I am mixed with B and black. Yeah, black and black, yeah. Honestly, people, if you don't need to respond to people asking you what you're mixed with, like it's really not that big of a deal what you're mixed with because that, that shouldn't really be important to begin with. The next trend that y'all want to see die is like for a part two, but then they never drop the part two. I agree with this so much because I'm out here following them like, oh, I need a part two, I need a part two, and they'll never drop part two. You know what they're gonna drop next? A video of them dancing. I'm gonna unlike your video and press not interested. I'm gonna unfollow you too. Like, I just, stop using this for clout. If you're not gonna drop the part two, then maybe what you were doing was fake all along. It's, that's seeing my anger level. That is testing my patience. Don't play us. It's so annoying. You're using this for clout, but then you're gonna get backlash later on. So is it really worth it? No. So just stop in a whole, stop with a part two. No, it needs to go. The last trend that y'all want to see die on TikTok is using Black Lives Matter for clout, like posting a picture or something on TikTok or making a quirky little video like, ooh, I'm so alt. Also remember Black Lives Matter. Like stop using Black Lives Matter for clout. It's making the whole, it's making the whole movement look bad. I'm gonna be real. You're out here posting your bikini pics saying black lives still matter, don't forget. Like, yeah, we know. Do you know? Because it doesn't look like it. Y'all posting your beach pics. Hey, the waves told me black lives matter. So I'm gonna tell you to shut up, please. Just don't waste your time. Just move, go. Say you don't support it and go. Like that's just a lot better. It saves you a lot of embarrassment. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It saves you a lot, a lot, a lot of embarrassment. Either you're for it or against it. Like don't, don't act like you're for it just because everybody else is doing it. It's not a trend, okay? It's not. Stop making it a trend. It's not cute.
that will do it for all of the TikTok trends I need to die. I hope I got everyone's trends. I wanted to make sure. I'm sorry this video is really long, but if you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and comment a check emoji or the done emoji. Um, it's a little green check mark. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you want to see next. Might just be a hair video because Miss Girl, look at my hair. I'm getting scared. It's a mess i know it's a mess i'm sorry guys i'm really sorry but i i need to redo it i'll fi figure that out but back to what i was saying i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe turn on those post notifications so you know when i upload okay i'm almost close to 300 i love all y'all thank you so much i never thought i'd make it this far make sure to stay safe stay healthy have self-confidence and love yourself and if you remember if you want to learn how to get a shout out check the description box below it's like literally a few simple steps it's so easy and you'll get a shout out just like that like that so yeah thank you thank you thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye